This is a video or so. Is this hot? No. Well, my baby. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my virtual cooking show. This time around, I've got a special guest, and we have. Ding What's your name? Tell everyone. Isadore. Yes, this is Isadore and today we are going to share with you two very easy menus that you can do at home. Admittedly, this, what I'm going to be making is a sushi roll. It was actually a recipe shared by one of my sales advisors. She is also one of the co-founders of Lacto Mama, Aisha Wahab. Thank you so much, Aisha. I'm going to be trying out your recipe and we're also going to be introducing our latest baby. And what is this, Isadore? A baby thermomix. A baby thermomix. So before we get into that, I'm just going to cook my rice first. So I'm using um, a specific sushi rice or cow rose rice. And what I've done is in advance, because we're doing this setup not in the kitchen, is that I've already um, washed the, the, the rice. And I can't take it out because it's got water inside. And then I've added in water. And normally when you're using the simmering basket to steam your rice, you want to, if you're using jasmine rice, you put the water the same level as rice. But for this one, I'm just making it slightly more um, with the water. I think I'm going to, I hope I got this right because I didn't have time to soak it. So I'm going to let the steaming of the Thermomix. Can I turn it off? Uh, you want to turn it off in just a bit? Okay, let Mama do this because I'm, I'm scared that the battery will run out. Okay, he's so excited. The reason why he wanted, we wanted to do this today here is because he wanted to demonstrate and play with the Thermomix kids. Okay, so for rice, uh, you just put in the rice inside your simmering basket and what it will do is at the same cook. time while it steams um, your rice or cooks your rice uh, or boils your rice. In this case, it sort of steams because we're going to be using the Varoma speed. I'm going to put this in 18 minutes. You're going to do yours in a bit, okay, Isidore? Yours is a different recipe, so yours is not going to be falling. He's trying to, like, 
copy whatever I do. On Varoma, oh no, no, not Varoma, sorry. I'm going to do 100, sorry. Varoma is for steaming. Sorry guys, tadi kan kami sudah ber... Um, and this one on speed 3.5. Jadi saya punya pemikiran ni ada kalau kabut sikit. Begitu lah itu kalau mau buat live yang basar-basar macam tu. Okay, so while this is cooking, um, again, it's not Varoma, forgive me, uh, but yes, uh, we are going to showcase this little baby and Isidore is going to have the pleasure of telling you more about it with Mama's help. Okay, so what is this, Isidore? A baby thermomix. And what does it have with the baby thermomix? It has a uh, with this thing. Varoma, Varoma thermomix. dish, and inside? Inside. Show them the, this. The what is this? A spatula. A spatula, and this is a measuring a, cup. A measuring cup. This is based on the TM5 model, okay? So this is a baby version of that. So it even has its cook key here, all right? I've not tried it out. So this is the first time we're doing it. Unlike the actual Thermomix itself, for this, the lid, you have to twist it. And it was a little bit hard initially, but then after a few tries, it gets a little bit more easier to open. And inside, you've got the... the what is this called? A butterfly... Uh, butterfly whisk. So if you see inside, the blade is made out of plastic. So it's not as if... The this baby Thermomix or Thermomix for kids is able to chop or blend per se, but it can do the mixing and it does operate. So it operates via battery. And when I was reading some reviews, um, the battery runs out very fast. So it's advisable for you to use rechargeable. It is advisable for you to use um, rechargeable batteries. So that's one thing, but we're going to test it out yesterday. We just popped the batteries in. We have not tried any recipes whatsoever because we wanted to do it live with all of you and to do a genuine review with regards to the Thermomix for Kids. This was actually sent to me by my cousin all the way from Dubai. You can't get it anywhere else right now. Um, apparently in Dubai you can. So for those of you who are interested, you can get in touch with me and I'll try and hook you up with my cousin and see if she's okay to, you know, sort of, you know, buy it and, you know, because she actually is traveling. Yes, so this actually functions. I'm talking to Oily's Essential, Michelle over here. Yes, it does operate. It is a toy, but it does actually operate. And it actually comes with a manual with some recipes. So some of the things that you can do is, can you read this out? Banana milkshake, chocolate milkshake, strawberry yogurt, muffins. And then it also has all the um because obviously it's not gonna be writing it down because the screens are so small right so it has like icons instead for the child to understand what is what okay so today what are we going to make is a door chocolate milk you want to do chocolate milk so let's press the on button which is this knob over here similar to your um so you press it for a long time so it's similar to our Thermomix, the adult version. Okay, leave it on for a while. And there you have also a oh darling, we have to show it here. I know it's going to be a bit tricky, but it also has the time, the temperature, as well as the speed. Okay, so how do you choose the recipe, Isidore? You've sort of figured it out. I made him study the recipe book and I said this is for you to understand and try and make your understand it by yourself with minimum help from mama okay so that it even has a little weighing scale oh my god that's so cute okay it has a weighing scale so we don't want to use the weighing scale where are the recipes Isidore so it has the the home button which has all the three temperature time speed it has the weighing little weighing machine this is, I'm guessing, turbo as well as your, so you can choose, ah, turbo or the dough version, uh, uh, mode, what's this? Oh, this is reverse mode. There's also a reverse mode for this. Okay, so how do you go to the recipes, Isidore? How did you do it the other day? Do you remember? How did you get like the milkshakes and stuff? Okay, while you figure that out, what is that? Oh, it has the time and the turbo. Okay, you figure out how do we get that chocolate milkshake. Maybe you can read the manual. 
and at the same time, Mama is going to just tell what the viewers what Mama is going to be doing today. Okay, so besides the chocolate milkshake that mm. we're going to attempt to make with milk and a bit of uh, good old Milo, because that's the only coca powder that I have at home, which is not really coca per se, it's actually Malta, but I don't know. Uh, so you have to figure out how do we get, how did we do it the other day? Yesterday you sort of found the recipe on how to make it. Okay, while he figures that out, I'm going to share with you, um, I've actually pre-cooked some sushi rice in advance. Okay, so it's uh, cooled down a bit. What's about that? Is it Iman? Is it all? What was that? Nothing. Okay, try and figure, try and get the ch chocolate milkshake mode, okay? Okay, what is it? No, you have to find out from here. How did you do it yesterday? Oh. Okay, you have to read this. Iman! Oh dear. Alright, so see below. See below for the overview of the recipes that you can prepare together with your child. Okay, try and figure that out. Is it Okay, while well, I do this. So I've already washed my hands in advance. And I've already had uh, my sushi prepared my sushi rice because we wanted to wait for it to cool down there's like milo in my rice um, i'm gonna add in you're supposed to add in some rice vinegar some sugar as well as some oil but my friend Aisha actually recommended this is a different brand that she's using which is a rice flavored distilled vinegar that you can just put um, and use it for your put it together for the for your rice to come together. I don't even know if I'm making sense. Again, I'm so like blur today. Iman! I think Iman needs help. Uh, Isidro needs help. So I'm going to put about two tablespoons of this. Okay. Vinegar mixture for sushi. Does this have any rice? Uh, does it have any sugar in it? Because it's supposed to be added with sugar. Oh. Hmm. Maybe the other brand was correct where um, Aisha actually recommended another brand that is you don't have to do any mixing anymore but you know what let's just test this out ada iman tak boleh tak panggil dia sebab isedo dah tak pandai dah cari yang tadi kirang cari so what we're going to do isedo is we're going to mix the sushi rice together with the vinegar there's supposed to be sugar in this i thought that this was together with the rice oh it is oh thank god Vinegar, sugar, and salt, so I don't have to do the mixture. Iman, can you help me out for a bit? Because we're trying to look for the recipe for the chocolate milkshake. Yesterday, we did see it on the screens, uh, but we don't have it now. So maybe you can just read this for a while and then try and figure it out while I finish off this recipe, okay? Now, the reason why Aisha came up with this really super easy sushi ball is the fact that because her children, just like my children, love, love, love Japanese rolls uh, and Japanese sushi. So instead of like, and they can eat it like just one go, kan? So instead of like having to roll the sushi, putting it on that mat, and then putting the um, the insides or the contents of it nicely, and then rolling up because it's quite tedious and it's a lot of hard work, she actually recommended this, and it works fine. It tastes the same, but it's a lot, 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 lot more easier compared to just the conventional way. So this is the Malas Mom's way of making sushi rolls. I've actually used um, tuna for this particular recipe, and I'm just going to add. Maybe let's try adding hey, two first. Do you have it? Is it there? The what? They're supposed to be like, I'm not sure if. The thing is, the recipe, do I have to use this? There's a. Oh, okay. There you go. So you have to press the cook key over here, and then all the recipes will come out. So that's banana milkshake, chocolate milkshake. Okay, so just go to. Yep. Yeah, all right my goodness okay so i'm gonna add in straight away the tuna with the sushi rice that has the vinegar inside okay sambil sambil menunggu siap punya nasi ni masak because we're going to use this for lunch later on which is going to be a late lunch but it's okay i think that is quite enough that looks quite decent but you know what macam alang-alang sudah kan jadi saya kasih terus masuk semualah Okay, I, I'll do the lid, okay, Iman? Okay, uh, get your brother to, to... Just tell your brother what to do. No. Yeah. Uh. Okay, the milk. You need to help him with the milk then, okay? Because it's a bit heavy for him. Alright. 
you just put the milk there. So that's like yeah, yeah milk inside. How much? Um, you know what? Good question. It says there one cup. So we need a cup. Can you get his? Uh, okay, you know what? Let's use this cup. Okay. Sorry. Half. Uh, maybe put half first because we don't know how much is this mixing bowl for the tiny baby thermomix. So I'm putting in the tuna. I'm mixing it all up. At the same time, kita ambil sedikit crispy seaweed, and it has some grains inside. Hi, Elan. And we're gonna crush it. Actually, Aisha suggests that we put it in like a little plastic bag, and then we crush it there together. But you know what? I'm just gonna do it by hand, and then I'm gonna crush it like that, just so that the sushi ball has a bit of texture and some crispiness to it. And it's okay that there's gonna be a bit of um, chunky pieces because this is like the crispy seaweed that I've chosen and it has, yeah, what does it have? Here. Popping brains, oh, not brains, grains, original flavor. Really? What is that? Um, sugar. You need sugar? Okay, you can get some sugar. Wow, this rice is really oh, popping here. I normally leave my rice because once I put on the 18 minutes on speed 3.5, I just leave and I've got like 18 minutes to do whatever I need to do. But now that I'm actually here watching and observing the rice being cooked um, in front of me, then macam, well, they're bur boiling, boiling juga lah. Okay, so I've mixed the crispy seaweed together with sushi rice as well as the... We have tuna. Uh, we have some sugar right here. You want to add some sugar? How much? It looks like one spoon. Maybe a tiny spoon, okay? Because the Milo is going to be quite sweet. So just a tinge, okay? Like, just like... Put some sugar. Yeah, okay. You want to ask? Okay. Put it in. All right. And you're supposed to tell your viewers what's happening at the same time, Okay, right? Okay? So I've mixed that all in. I'm just going to taste it. A chopped banana. Ooh, nice. I told you. You know what? Mama I'm going to add in. No, no, we're not doing chopped bananas. He wants to do, he wants to do the chocolate milkshake. I'm oh. going to add in a bit more vinegar, just because I like the taste of the kickness of it. Ideally, you want to do this when it's warm. Really then it will the, really like be absorbed at the same time. So this oh, is why? taking place. And I've also toasted some sesame seeds which I'm going to just tabur here, just again to have a little bit of texture as well as taste because I love my sesame seeds in my sushis, okay? <gasps> now, I've also got this crispy seaweed and it has wasabi flavor, so it's slightly on the spicy side and I'm going to cut it up just so that it will be the base for my rolls later on. So I'm just going to prepare a few here, okay? That's how it looks like. Ah, chocolate. Yeah, aduh, panas. Okay. Then you have to wet your hands and then just roll it up. Roll it up into a nice bowl. So we're going to make it into a bowl that is just easy for us to consume in one go. Uh, my battery died. Okay. There you go. Nice looking ball. Okay. Just gonna plonk it here. And then we're gonna continue. Oh my gosh, the splattering of this oil, uh, the, the, um, what do you call it? The rice is hitting me. Okay, how are we doing over there with the chocolate? Okay, I need to help you out on that one. Because you need to, it's not, it's not like how we use it. I Iman is already very, very champion sudah bah kalau dia mau pakai itu thermo mix yang adult punya kan baik like, mama just finish this and then I help you guys out okay let me just do one more ball and why don't you wash your hands and you help me out with this ball okay yeah wait makan sikit it looks mm. quite decent I must say and it tastes quite yummy too and it's so easy itu saja bah kau perlu sushi rice kau cuci kau ambil tuna atau apa-apa yang kamu masuk sama kau punya sushi of course um, the vinegar um, liquid or whatever it's called put in some sesame and it is done 
Okay, so I am going to wash my hands because I'm gonna aduk panas. I am, it's the splattering of my boiled rice. And I'm going to help kids out with this. Apa tu? Tak boleh. Oh, okay, because yesterday I made some uh, chicken prawn dumplings and I left some aside ah, to be fried ow, today. Hot, Tapi hot, dia lekat-lekat. Hot. So, macam mana? Okay lah, dia kukus lah. Kita kukus je lah. Okay, man, come, let me help you out. Alright, so now we are going to help Isidore out with his chocolate milkshake. Okay, and I'm going to just move over here, if I can. Oh my God! That's why I've always dreamt of having like a proper island kitchen. So, they've added in the cocoa powder as well as the milk. And you just turn it like that, okay? All right, Isidore. Now, what's next? Uh, what's next? Mm -hmm. The time. Does it have the time and everything there? Yeah. Oh, I mean, what does it say? Yeah, I know. It's a bit hot. So I'll move you here because the splattering of the ball rice might be... I'm going to go this side now just to help him out. Okay, so... Okay, then you just follow through and um, I guess you have to just... Press it. It's just one minute. I'm not sure. So it says here what? Did you play with the temperature and everything? Oh, it came naturally like that. It came naturally like that. Okay. So I guess you just have to. Oh, is it moving? Oh, it's not. Hmm. You didn't put in the butterfly whisk? You want to put in the butterfly whisk? Okay, so this is like a real life first time using this uh, baby thermomix. How does it swirl? Can you see if there's any troubleshooting on how does, you, how does it work? Or how, does, how do you make it work? I'm going to put in the butterfly whisk. Okay, here you go. Yay. I'm not sure if um, you guys can actually see us because, okay, now I'm going to put this, close it, put the lid, close it like that, okay, that's done, that seems secured. Now, to figure out how do we... Uh, 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 on the hmm, how do we op switch it on? Oh dear. Okay, so we wanted to do this, right? Chocolate. Okay, and then how do you Chocolate. do that? Okay, press, press. Press. Oh. What's that? That's muffin. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. So what happened was you need to. How did I do that again? And the thing is, because it's out of stock. Um, the TM5 Thermomix for kids. Okay, this is done. So I'm just going to switch that off for a while and let it uh, cool down for a bit. Because there is out of stock, um, this is found, we actually got this from Dubai. And um, there's not enough literature or videos online that shows you how to actually use it. They've got like unboxings and stuff like that but to actually figure it out okay so that's resetting it and then how do you use the cookie because I've never had a TM5 I went straight for the TM6 and I can't read your comments right now because okay so that's how you do it okay and then we go into chocolate milkshake okay and then how do you say yes to that oh okay. Uh? No, I don't want that. I want this. Why does it do that? Hmm. Okay. Okay, and then? And then? Yeah, how do we start it? I don't know yeah, how do you Is it mixing is it all? No. Am I not putting it properly? It should no. be proper. It's done. I don't know why it's not mixing. And again, like I said, it's a little bit 
crappy that we don't have. Um, I, you, I see, I see it. Yeah. yeah, it's moving or not inside? Is it moving? No. No, right? Okay, so is Iman is going to figure it out. She's trying to read up. Can I just see the yeah tree? Look at the back where there's usually the troubleshooting. Yeah. So whilst you figure that out, okay, Isadore, do you want to just uh, relax for a bit? I'm just going to show you content of the rice, bit panas, and it looks beautiful. And I'm going to use this rice also to make more lunch later on. But basically, and that's Elon. yeah, that is. But basically, my sushi balls are done, and I'm going to continue this same process. At the same time, I just want to do a little quick um, shout out with regards to. Um, I think everyone has. Oh, what happened there? What did you say? Um. Hmm. The motto. The motto is this one, I guess. Why? The top motto. It's on. It's on. It should be on. And the battery's working fine. So I'm not quite. Oh, sorry, guys. My bad. I did not place the mixing bowl properly. So it's supposed to be hinged on this. So you see? Okay, so now do back what you did just now, is uh, Bell Iman? Okay, do the same thing. Okay, so we're pressing next, 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 as in prompting, okay. as what is doing. And then, Hush. there you go, and it works! Yay! It works. The chocolate, my chocolate gift for the bit for the boys. That that but that for the boys. Can you see that it works for the boys? I hope we can. Can I just bring it closer so that the camera can see it? This one, probably angkat, macam tu. All right, you're gonna cover it up with the measuring cup or the lid cover. Okay, while we wait for your milkshake to be done, I think a lot of you have probably seen or read the reports with regards to a particular professor who is an ophthalmologist. So she actually performed elastic on me. I, I personally know her because she was my doctor and she's very motherly um, so I'm a little bit shocked with the statement that she said women need to sort of be to dumb themselves to bodo bodo kandiri in order for them to study jodo so I read about it on the Twitter and I was a little bit uh, like tak believe juga lah fikilan juga lah because I know her as a very sweet natured uh, lady right and now then I watched the video, done. it's done, and I watched the video and I have my opinions with regards to that, which I'm going to share in just a bit after we do this. So after that, I'm going to remove the lid. So how you remove it is you swirl it to the right, anti-clockwise to remove it. Is, um, can you help maybe with um, Ilan? Kalau tak boleh, then uh, tak apa, kita makan. <laughs> Alright, Isadora, come here. Want to pour your milkshake? Yeah. Come. You're not supposed to leave your show. You're supposed to stay here. He wants to go and see his adik. Oops. Can someone help with Elan? Isabel? Okay, and then you pour it into the glass. <laughs> Isadore, pour it into a glass. Two. You want to pour it into the glass? Yeah, yeah let, let Isadore do it. Pour it carefully. And okay. We're pouring his milk and Milo that has been whisked by his thermal biscuit. If I'm not mistaken, in US, it's, uh, it costs about 79 USD. Kalau tak silap saya. But it's out of stock. Um, in Shopee, I've seen some people selling it over third-party oh, platforms. Shit. It goes as high as 650 to 700 ringgit. Yes, it is quite pricey for just a toy, although it does operate. And you want to make it a little bit more pretty. I wish I had a smaller glass, but we don't. So we're going to like taburkan. <gasps> Woo! And we're going to show it to the camera. There you go. And last but not least, you're going to give it a go. Try it out. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wow. I'm just going to close this first. 
Nice. How does it taste? Try your sister. Does it taste good? Let your sister try. Isabel, can you help with Elan, please? Good? Yeah? Do you want to bring Elan here? Because I think he's not comfortable. Uh, Lina is putting him at her back and she's uh, trying to cook at the same time. Um, yeah. Wow, finished. Do you want to make some more? Do you want to make some more? Now you know how to do it, right? Iman, would you like to help your sister, your brother do this while I continue? How many minutes do we have? Okay, so I want to refer back to that video and I wanted to double confirm. Maybe it was taken out of context because I saw like posters flying and um, I felt like Alama cannot be true lah because again, like I said, she doesn't seem the sort that would say something like that. But I've not met her in years. She did my last sick maybe when is Ilan, Iman was born. So that was a good few years ago. Anywho, um, I found thanks to another friend of mine, Najla, she actually showcased, um, or sh showed me um, an opinion piece from Dr. Ha. And Dr. Ha was one of the learned um, doctors that I sought help for and sought knowledge for when I was making that decision to revert. So Dr. Halina actually wrote a piece about it and I just want to share snippets of her Facebook page which I felt were very much um, e echoed the sentiments that I share uh, with regards to this issue. You want to continue doing it? Yeah. You want to make another one? You want to make one for Papa? Okay, do the same thing. You know how to do it? Yeah, but I want to make another one for me. Yeah, you can make another one for yourself. Okay, Iman will help you, okay? <laughs> All right, so this is what oh, Dr. Shit. Ha has mentioned, and I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet. Um, so it's on her Facebook page, and it says there that she too was a little bit shocked because she too knows Professor herself. But the first thing she wanted to do was to verify and to see if it was true, was the, was the video actually original, the asli kata. So she actually called in, Professor Muhaya Muhaya says that it is indeed her. And what happened was that this video was merupakan sedutan dari sesi pengisian ilmu yang Profesor Mohaya pernah sampaikan. So it was a video and then probably edited. Uh, Dr. Ha tiada maklumat mengenai tajuk besar sesi perkongsian ilmu tersebut dan apa yang menjadi fokus perbincangan sebelum dan selepas segmen yang menyentuh bab kepimpinan lelaki dan urusan jodoh wanita tersebut. So there are a few points in that video just to rehash in case some of you may uh, or may not seen the video because it has been deleted since uh, what the professor Muhaya had bangkitkan was perlunya menghargai dan meraihkan atau celebrate kepimpinan lelaki sebagai ketua walau setinggi mana pun kedudukan dan berpangkat besarnya seorang wanita because this is her reason lelaki tetap menjadi iman uh, imam dalam solat berjemaah imam abel can you help mak bama please uh, walaupun pangkat rendah dan semua nabi-nabi juga ada lelaki so that is Professor Mohaya's point for this uh, number two, the point that came out in that video is larangan kepada wanita supaya jangan sibuk-sibuk nak bebaskan diri atau liberate themselves dan mau demand kedudukan sama-sama uh, supaya sama dan setaraf dengan lelaki so again, I am just highlighting some of the points that were pertinent and caused quite a furrow over uh, Dr., uh, Professor Dr. Mohaya's post of late can you help me out with this a little bit, uh, Ilan? Yeah, because we're all trying to do something here and Auntie Lina needs to free herself because there's something wrong with my wonton. Okay? She needs steam it. Can you just help me out? Thank you. Three, pandangan mengenai naiknya tahap hormon testosterone. Now, this one got me a little bit... Oh, no. mm. Bila wanita sibuk nak buat apa yang lelaki buat, bila testosterone tinggi, wanita nak drive, nak achieve dan nak independent akhirnya menyebabkan wanita itu lambat bertemu jodoh. Okay, basically the essence of what she's saying is don't try and this is what Professor Mohaya was saying in the video in case you haven't seen it. You continue doing whatever you have to do and I will continue with my bells. okay? You guys can cook while I do this and while Isabel helps me out with Elan. Alright, so she's saying that don't try and compete or you know uh, with your male counterparts because then the testosterone level which is a hormone that is very um, you know it's normally males have a lot of testosterone levels will wow. be higher because lelaki suka wanita wanita yang lembut lembut high estrogen mengharapkan be, perlu ditolong biarlah macam bodoh bodoh sikit so that was the that was the exact word that got everyone panties in the twist and I was like I don't, I don't believe she actually said that but yeah the video did state that and then last but not least was the killer 
Siapa yang lambat jodoh tu? Lambat jodoh tu kena tengok karakter masing-masing. So we had a lot of activists, a lot of prominent personalities. Do you know how to close it? Is it okay? I make sure that it's on top of the thing here. Um, and then uh, a lot of them were voicing other opinions, saying like, "Look, I am an educated woman. If my man does not respect the fact that I am smart and uh, you know financially independent, that I don't depend on him for anything, then that man is not the right fit." And this was something that my husband and I were discussing, and we've always, always, always told our girls, especially our girls, it's all our children, to be uh, independent. Uh, it's not about, we're not, we're, not, we're not rushing you guys for marriage, we're not rushing you guys for grandchildren, although personally I would love grandchildren, but no, no haste in that, there's no pressure whatsoever. Education is first and foremost most important. Now, Dr. Ha actually sort of um, explains her points and her opinions based on these five issues or points that I mentioned earlier on and I have to agree with some of the sentiments that she has posted over her Facebook okay so this is Dr. Ha's uh, opinion on it okay so the first one with regards to how um, lelaki tetap menjadi imam dalam solat berjamaah walaupun pangkat rendah dan semua nabi-nabi juga adalah lelaki so because you know Professor Muhaya was saying that we should respect men because they are the leaders they are we have to just accept and count out to it. That, that's how I read it, and that's why a lot of people are worrying uh, about this, okay? So she says, Kempimpinan adalah amanah yang dipikul secara kolektif oleh semua lelaki dan wanita. Rujukan hadis Rasulullah uh, SAW yang diriwayatkan oleh Muslim. Ketahuilah setiap daripada kamu adalah pemimpin dan setiap daripada kamu akan diminta dipertanggungjawaban terhadap apa yang dipimpin dalam beberapa usul khusus yang telah digariskan di dalam Al-Quran dan juga hadir. Okay? So, lelaki diberi tanggungjawab untuk memimpin keluarga sebagai suami dan bapa yang menjaga dan menyediakan keperluan ahli keluarga yang menjadi ketua pembangunan spiritual family sebagai imam dan kewajipan yang mesti dilaksana dan ditanggungjawab yang akan dipersoalkan di akhirat. So, yes, that is in the scriptures. That's fine. Tetapi, ini bukanlah uh, keistimewaan dan kelebihan untuk disalahgunakan dan alasan untuk menindas. Alright, so you have that written in the holy book as well as all the other scriptures that you can find to support it. Although I would rather just stick to the Quran. It does say that, uh, but those are times back then, now women are leaders even back then i'm not going to go too much on the religious aspect of it because i am uh, not i'm not a or whatsoever but i personally feel that you know even in the olden days where prophet muhammad peace be upon him had his wife who was a very intelligent smart businesswoman and um, you know he respected her he loved her with all his heart so it's nothing to do with you know uh, because the man he automatically has to take reins of the, uh, the responsibility of the household okay it takes the both of them okay so both and if you're a single parent then that would be uh, the responsibility of the single parent, regardless if you're a, parent, a single father or a single mother. So it's not about, it's basically the issue here is about gender roles. Okay, that's, that's what's making quite a, a controversy right now. So, point number dua, selepas tanggungjawab kepimpinan dan setiap peranan dilaksanakan dengan sebaiknya, setiap lelaki dan wanita berhak mendapat pengiktirafan terhadap sumbangan masing-masing. Hak-hak ini mesti dipenuhi dan dihormati pula oleh orang lain. Kesetaraan dan kesaksamaan ini fairness as well as justice ini yang amat perlu digagap, digapai dalam keluarga sehingga lahir hubungan harmoni yang berdasarkan rasa percaya, mempercayai dan saling hormat yang tinggi terhadap potensi dan kebolehan setiap orang baik lelaki maupun wanita. Dan this kesetaraan dan kesaksamaan dan keadilan ini yang mesti diperjuangkan What? oleh setiap individu. So it's not about you're greater than me, I'm greater than you. It's about living in harmony. Everyone has his strengths and weaknesses. My husband and I complement each other because he's got his strength. I've got my weakness. I've got my strength. He's got his weakness. But we amplify our strengths and focus on that so that we can complement each other's relationship as well as to, uh, you know, live in harmony. Why, darling? Why, Iman? You want to let Papa drink? Okay. So, Iman, he wants to drink it, baby. Let him have a bit and we can make another one. It's fine. We've got lots and lots of lots of this until the battery runs out, okay? We've got, we've got to get rechargeable batteries. Oh, okay. Where's the other milk uh, cup? Hmm? Okay, can you 
uh, you want to give this to Papa? Oh my God, inilah, inilah. This is the time when I have to be adil Hi. because I can see that Iman's feeling a little bit um, sad that oh. I have. Uh, she wants to go and bring this to her father because she made it especially for her father. So actually, Iman made this especially for Papa. Can we make another one for you? Don't you want Papa to try out this chocolate milkshake? Because you tried it out just now, didn't you? So what we're going to do is, Iman is going to bring this to Papa because she I made this for friend. Papa. Oh yes, we're going to make another one. So we're going to make another one here. Can we, before we put that to Papa, can we just make this one more for Isabel, uh, Isidore? Do you know how to do it? It's okay, you make this first while waiting for it to whirl, then you can get your cup. Kau paham kau perasaan saya sekarang ni? Nere. Okay, itu later. Um, the part about the fourth one, Dr. Ha says she doesn't have enough pembacaan ilmu perubatan dan pengalaman to basically uh, sokong what was point number four, which is pernyataan mengenai naiknya tahap hormon testosterone bila wanita sibuk nak buat apa yang lelaki buat. Because they say, she said that, you know, if we're too busy trying to liberate ourselves and to be on par or to be higher than males, then our testosterone, hormone testosterone will be higher and that will cause the men to not like us because they prefer wanita yang lagi lemah lembut, yang bodoh-bodoh begitu and higher in estrogen. So, Dr. Ha doesn't have that medical scientific uh, evidence to back that up. And last but not least is about the pasal the uh, soal jodoh. Jodoh pertemuan di tangan Allah. Yes, lambat dan cepat jodoh seseorang itu juga dalam ketentuannya dan farik tarik, faktor tarikan penolakan jodoh juga sangat subjektif dan tidak konsisten. So, I agree with that because um, unfortunately, there are some men um, who prefer their wife to be docile and to sort of suppress their smartness, their, you know, their potential. Um, and some women are okay with that, are totally okay. So, to each and their own. If the husband wants that and the wife is willing to do that uh, with all of her heart, um, by all means, go ahead. And there are some men who prefer their wife to be intelligent, to be financially independent, to be um, able to uh, do things that normally a guy would be you know, stereotyped to be able to do, you know? Whoa. So, we've got men like that. And um, so, it's very subjective. It's not consistent. It doesn't mean that if you play dumb or if you're too smart-ass for yourself, then you will not be able to find a man for yourself. So, I think what may have happened over here, because kita nak berpikir bagus kan, mungkin, you know, while she was doing whatever lecture or whatever video rakaman, um, she was just saying it and maybe she took the wrong choice of words to be used in that video. And then when people edit it and it becomes like that, the power of editing is just amazing, guys. It can create a different meaning altogether. However, I cannot... Uh, defender for using that word bodo bodo sikit. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that she meant something else. That video has been deleted since, but of course, people have already made copies about it and it is going viralized. So, all I can say is in this household, at least, um, we want to empower each of our children to reach their optimum potential. Okay? And they are, we are very big on knowledge seeking that's why we're surrounded by books we are uh, we embrace technology and we allow for the kids to have internet so that they are able to use their internet and computers and devices with responsibility yes so that they are able to seek knowledge and you know not all information is just at the tips of their fingers mm -hmm. and they're not using it for other things that are no no good boy. okay guys um, and we encourage education. We want them to reach for the stars. We want them to, you know, whatever they want to pursue in their dreams, we will be supportive, even if it's not your conventional vocation or career. Um, by all means, as long as they are happy. So that's what has, happens in our household. My husband is someone who's very big on this. He jokes about it when he goes like, you guys aren't going to get married until the age of 40 because men, men are only matured after the age of 40. So he jokes about that. But he, he probably has gone through it himself because um, he's a man himself, he has friends and all of them for some reason um, have only grown up or matured after the age of 40 so that could be pure coincidence uh, but yes um, he's always telling the girls like you don't have to get married so fast you know you're gonna stay with Papa until your age of 40 which is a little bit too much for mom actually but then yeah the, 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 the basic info that he wants to tell them is that 
go and get your studies first. Be financially independent. I think that's very important. Get yourself educated because after that, if anything happens, you're always going to be able to stand on your two feet alone. Okay, um, it's great that in a marriage. So this one is for Isadora. Eh? Are you going to give that to Papa now? You going to let Papa try it out? Okay. Okay, so Isidore, this is going to be yours. So you're just going to wait and then you're going to pour it in. And then I'm going to close this because I don't want any virus to go inside or any bacteria. And in the meantime, yeah, so that's basically what I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, a very easy sushi bowl recipe that you can do without having the hassle of using a sushi mat. And right now, as we try this out, it's not bad. We've done already about four milkshakes. The battery hasn't run out yet. I'm not oh, sure how much this costs nice. as it was gifted to me. But if you are interested to purchase this, then you can just DM me um, and I'll find out a little bit more details oh, because I'm not quite sure how many we can actually you, uh, bring in. Because uh, I've got a few requests already from some folks out there like, Oh, drop my name. So she gets it actually from the Momix herself. And we'll just see if we can try and bring some in safely and legally. Okay? How did Papa say? What did Papa say? Because I can't hear him. Nice. He said it's nice, Isidore. There you oh. go. See, so fast. And now this can be yours. We're enjoying it so far. How do you find this little baby Thermomix or the Thermomix for kids? Well, you find it at the shop. Oh, you find it at the shop. I mean, how do you find it? Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, but and then... I, I, yeah, my... That's okay. Okay. It's all right. And that's just it. You can also make muffins, you can make banana milkshake, although I have read some reviews that because it's not a actual blade, it's made out of plastic, it won't be able to chop or blend your uh, bananas smoothly. So there'll be still chunks of bananas inside even though you sort of mash it up properly. But this seems quite legit. This is using just fresh milk from the fridge and we put in, did you put sugar also? Not too much sugar, right? A bit of sugar as well as some Milo on top. So, macam nampak macam Milo dinosaur. Begitu ba? All right, so this is us. Uh, we're going to go and prepare lunch now and I'm going to finish up making my balls. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I will let you know if there is going to be a cooking show, which is a group virtual show that we do with the Diva Romas because I might hand it over to another team member of mine. We're going to take turns in that aspect. And uh, But I'll let you all know. In the meantime, if you would like to know more about the Thermomix, please do get in touch with me. There are three ways of owning your own Thermomix. One is through full payment of 7188, but now we've got a voucher, so it's 200 ring it off, so it now costs 6988. There's also a financing scheme where you can pay via installment and you can um, opt to. Um, Use either the credit card or your debit card. We've got those payment schemes available too. Or you can be like me as a sales advisor and earn your unit for free. So find out more, just DM me and I'll be more than happy to share with you our Diva Roma spirit right here, right now. Che, my tongue right here, right now. I, I want to do the writing mail, but my like my, my walkie talkies at the back. So, okay lah, itu saja lah. Shall we all say goodbye? Bye, Bye now. Thank you for watching. Yes, you want to help me make it? It's so easy. I'll show you how. Let me just clean this up and put the water back on.